So yeah, what was I saying there? Yeah, I got rudely interrupted. Whenever I see someone, it kind of spooks me. I can't keep taking videos. Because again, I'm working and I'm on patrol. So anyways, I saw a HP Lovecraft uh, book. Never, what, what am I saying? I saw, I've been reading one. Yes, that's right. I've been reading a new annotated version with an introduction from Alan Moore. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Very strange guy. That H.P. Lovecraft. Um, you can tell it was all very cathartic for him in his personal life. His parents were, both his parents wound up in an insane asylum. Um, and he was kind of nuts himself, and it sort of shows in his stories the racism, the bigotry, but all that to me doesn't matter. He's. A philosophical pessimist, that's for sure. He calls himself a cynical materialist, which was just a polite way of him saying, oh, I'm an atheist, because you couldn't really say that in the 30s, whatever. Apparently he only died when he was 40, so not that old. And yeah, his, I'm really enjoying The Nameless City, uh, The Reanimator, and another story I don't remember the name of, but uh, very suggestive. It's... Uh, Shit, I don't remember the name, but he's this young guy finds this old abandoned house with this creepy old guy that talks with a weird accent that has these copies of these famous uh, plates done by these Portuguese explorers that show cannibalism in the New World, and it's sort of suggestive that the old guy is going to eat them. And yeah, it's pretty creepy. Weird story. So yeah, you can learn all about Tim Hortons. Oh, they have a packy. Oh boy, they have a packy Tim Hortons. Oh, holy diner. And look, they even got a coffee roasting place. But yeah, like as you can see, I'm pretty hard up for stuff to talk about. Pretty hard up in general. It's like there's, you know, nothing nothing much to say anymore nothing much to say and it's just all kind of tired you know just yep this is the sort of job you can basically just go to sleep on which I love don't have to interact with anybody too much and people leave you alone and there's no drama and there's no bullshit big piece of wisdom I've been working on figured out lately hold on a sec let me open this fucking door here is that you really you don't need a good time you need to not have a bad time right and that that can save you a lot of bullshit in life you don't have to chase a good time you don't have to live up to other people's expectations. You can just do your own thing. And sure, like I used to be traveling the world, right? I went to Angkor Wat. I lived in Vietnam. I lived in Cambodia. No, actually, I didn't live in Cambodia. I, I went to, to Cambodia. I can't even speak. I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning. But uh, yeah, I went to China. Did a lot of stuff, you know, all these adventures and all this fun and supposed good time and really it just brought me pain, grief uh, fucked up my life again, but my fault other people's fault as well but yeah, drama headache and guess what it's fleeting and transitory you don't really need to do any of that stuff right, as long as you're comfortable have money in the bank food in the fridge don't really need all this other stuff that people, oh, you don't have a girlfriend? Oh, what do you, oh, you don't have a this, you don't have a that? Well, you know, fuck those people. Shit, where is that AED machine? Where is it? Oh, yes, it's over here. Anyways, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm really hard up for shit to say. It's like I'm not saying anything new. I'm sort of just even sort of regurgitating what's already been said. 
So, yeah, there you go. That's enough of a video. I'm gonna maybe shoot some other shit in the industrial wasteland of Hamilton, Ontario. I find this very fucking hilarious. It's like a kid's play area run by, that's was sponsored by a lawyer. Uh, you just heard me fart there. Uh, 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 shit. But yeah, sponsored by a lawyer that does personal injury law. And this whole thing is a, is a fucking, look at that, it's safety hazard. So yeah, people, stuff's really gay. Really gay. Oh shit, got my fucking keys. We're gonna need some major editing on this piece of shit.